In this video, we are going to learn all about cylinders. A cylinder is like a prism, except that its bases are each circles. In your daily life, you probably see cylinders most often when you see any sort of can. So this would be an example of a cylinder. You can see that its bases on top and bottom are each circles. And then it has this other lateral surface, which is right here, which is a little bit harder to picture what it actually is, what shape that is, because it's curved. But if you were to create the net for a cylinder and unfold everything, this lateral face or lateral surface would actually be a rectangle. So the net would look like this. So if we want to figure out the surface area or the volume of the cylinder, it helps to know what this net looks like. So this was the net. Now remember, surface area in general is the number of little unit cubes it would take to cover the whole solid. So this solid is made up of three different basically surfaces. We have two circles and also this rectangle. So the surface area will be the area of the circle plus the area of the rectangle plus the area of the circle. So if we know that the circle has a radius of r, then its area will be pi times r squared. So the surface area will be pi r squared plus pi r squared, and that's for each of these circles. Now what about the rectangle, the lateral surface? What's the area of the rectangle? Now you know in general that the area of a rectangle is base times height, but it's not obvious from looking at this what the base is and what the height is. Well, in the original cylinder, another dimension that you do need to know is its height so that you know how tall it is. And that will be one of the dimensions of the rectangle. It's actually this one right here. The other dimension, this one, is the length that is required to cover the distance around the circle. Because if you imagine, that rectangle is being wrapped up to cover itself around the whole circle. So that means that this distance is actually the circumference of the circle. So that distance is going to be 2 pi r. So that means that the area of that rectangle is h times 2 pi r. So 2 pi r h. Therefore, the surface area is pi r squared plus pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. You can combine these two parts into 2 pi r squared. So a lot of times you'll see it as 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So that's how you figure out the surface area for a cylinder. Now what about volume? Since a cylinder is really just like a prism with a circular base, the volume is figured out in the same way as it is for a prism. The volume for a prism is the area of the base times the height. Well, in this case, the area of the base is a circle, and we know that the area of a circle is just pi r squared. So therefore, the volume for the cylinder will be pi r squared times h, the height. And the reason for that is pi r squared tells you how many little unit cubes would it take for one layer of the cylinder to fill it up. And then the height tells you how many layers do you need for the whole cylinder. So that's why the formula is pi r squared times h. So notice that in order to figure out surface area or a volume, the only dimensions you need or information you need from the cylinder is its radius and its height. 